Firstly, it's absolutely critical that the movement stays on the streets. It cannot afford for popular anger at Macron to be diverted into a narrowly constitutional campaign at this point. Uh, union officials had hoped that the Constitutional Court would authorise a future referendum on the bill, but this too has now been rejected. And while some may still want to pursue a strategy of pushing for a referendum, the process to set this in motion would require a petition of 5 million signatures, and such a focus would arguably be an enormous diversion of time and energy away from building uh, the, the strikes that, uh, that we need to see in France. Secondly, the movement uh, must deepen itself um, and its rank and file workplace networks um, in order to gain a degree of autonomy from, uh, from the union officials in. It currently lacks much local self-organisation or a national organisation and has been largely led from above by the, uh, the, what they call the Intersyndical, which is the, the Trade Union Council. And thirdly, the strikes have been um, large, but they've been quite disparate. Uh, they've taken the form so far of rolling one day strikes. Um, and these strikes have been informed by a strategy of union officials seeking to gain a seat at the table to negotiate with Macron, uh, rather than a continuous general strike. Uh, but now is the time for a general strike. Workers have had a taste of their own power and the movement now needs to, uh, needs to continue to escalate. Um, so a final note about parliamentary opposition to the pension reforms. The main French left parliamentary opposition formed during the last election um, around opposition to the fascist Marine Le Pen is the Nukes Alliance. And this comprises the rump of the Socialist Party as well as the French Greens. But its most radical component is La France Insoumise, uh, led by Jean-Luc Mélenchon. La France Insoumise, uh, with 74 MPs, has positioned itself as the most sympathetic of any parliamentary party towards the revolt. Its MP staged a protest in the National Assembly, holding signs saying, see you in the streets, uh, and have generally played a positive role in mobilising support for the, the strikes including raising money for, um, for union strike funds. But it, at the same time, it stayed, um, it stayed back from taking an active political lead in the movement, vacating the space to, to the union leaders. There is no guarantee at this point that the movement will necessarily produce an electoral shift to the left uh, in the absence of a major escalation of, of struggle towards a general strike. And the elephant in the room here, of course, is the very real danger um, of the fascist Rassemblement National. Polls are predicting that uh, the Marine that Marine Le Pen uh, would probably win an election um, if an election were held now. So we need to be clear that the fascists are no friends of the uh, the movement, while they nominally oppose the pension reform with a view towards courting working class voters. They've also positioned themselves as a respectable opposition, denouncing the strikes and demonstrations uh, from the National Assembly. La Pen has also sought to misdirect this anger uh, towards the pension law in a racist direction, predictably, calling for an amendment to the bill to financially incentivize, quote, white French families into having more children uh, and for an end to immigration in order to save money to pay for pensions. Um, it is, in other words, essential that the movement wins, because if it doesn't, uh, the alternative will be much more grim, not only for France, but potentially for humanity. Sure. Very good. Good one.